Yes, gang, welcome back to the YouTube channel, man. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. Let's get straight into this video right now. Today's video is going to be another career simulation. We're going to have a look at how a player develops over 15 years. You want to see what teams he moves to, um, how much GNA he gets, his statistics, his attributes. Listen, we're going to look at everything. So, But before we get into that, people, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right now. Don't forget also to leave a like and leave a comment. I am doing a Football Manager 23 giveaway. So if you guys want to have a chance of winning Football Manager 23 for free, then go over to my Twitter. Um, I'll attach the link directly to the tweet in the description now, man. But let's get straight into this video, guys. And today's career simulation will be on Jude Bellingham, the Birmingham wonder kid um, who's currently at Borussia Dortmund. We're going to have a look and see what he is saying, man. Because he is personally straight away as a perfectionist. Bro has 20 determination, bro. You don't know how much I like determination as well. And at 19 years old, he's already got, what, four player traits? Bro, the guy is like a good player, man. Honestly, at 19, we're going to simulate 15 years ahead, meaning he'll be 34. The guy could end up anywhere, bro. Honestly, he could end up at PSG, Real Madrid, um, Barcelona, <laughs> Liverpool, Man United, England, Man City. Listen, the guy could end up anywhere, bro. He's that good, isn't it? He's already saying that he's cost 104 to 120 million. So let's have a look, man. There's attributes. Dribbling, 13. Finishing, 13. The guy's a midfielder with 13 finishing, man. First touch, 16. Passing, 15. Technique, 16. Work rate, 17. Stamina, 16. Natural fitness, 16. Pace, acceleration, agility. Bro, the guy's literally a complete player, bro. Apart from what? Free kick taking, corner taking, long throws, penalties, and positioning. Averaging minimum 11 12 on every single attribute, bro. Let's have a look at his injuries. Apparently, he's only been injured twice recently. He's only had the flu and he's had a bruised head, and that's it. Um, in his career, he started off at Birmingham, played 40 games one season, 41 games one season, then moved to Bristol Dortmund for 25 million, played 29 games that season, and then last season, he played 32. And here we are now, man. And if you look at his overall report, and um, we can see his bravery means he'll go into situations that other players may not, man. That means he's definitely a leader on the pitch. He's a perfectionist who constantly strives for improvement. That's a that is that's a great attribute to have, bro. Honestly, um, has performed well in training lately. Is natural in multiple positions. His bravery and work rate make him a good team player. He's currently international. And he's fairly consistent performer, bro. That is a great attribute to have, or a great pro to have, sorry I should say. And could improve in a lot, could improve a lot more in the future, man. He's got, listen, the guy's got room for improvement, man. That's all. It says that he's best as a ball-winning midfielder. Personally, yeah, I'll probably use him. Probably use him as a ball-winning midfielder, but I can't lie. When I used him as a central mid on attack, he was cooking. The guy can play almost anywhere you want him to play in, honestly. I'm not going to lie. It depends what you want to do with him. but And it depends on the players you've got um, in the rest of your team to work on the midfield. But definitely someone I'll be playing in the midfield. I wouldn't be looking to play him. He could probably do a shadow striker job. But yeah, I wouldn't, look him, I wouldn't be looking to play him as a shadow striker. I mean, he could, he could run. He's good enough to play anywhere, honestly. He's literally good enough to play anywhere. But yeah, man, we're going to simulate his career. We're going to see what other player traits he... Um, develops, how his attributes improve, um, what teams he moves to, and all of this stuff, man. We're going to get straight into it, man. But be right back, people, man. I'm going to simulate the guy's career now, and I'll see you guys in approximately, like, two seconds. A few moments later. Oh, and we are back with Jude Bellingham's career. Here we are. So the legendary midfielder Jude Bellingham ended up moving to Real Madrid. They're currently paying him. 325k a week, bro. I right, dude, if you're watching this, bro. <laughs> hey, let me get a little sign, bro. Man, they're getting paid 325 bags a week. He's not complaining at all, man. He's smashing it currently. Um, you can see his attributes here. They're still very high. They're still all averaging above. Penalty taking even went up. They're still all averaging above. 11 the only thing that's low is literally long throws everything else is above 11 minimum yeah, he's absolutely smashing it he picked up i think like two more player traits like gets into the opposition box and gets forward whenever i think the rest he had beforehand um yeah he ended up moving to real madrid 
And I think the fee was, let's have a look at the fee. After about four and a half seasons more at um, Borussia Dortmund, he then moved in January to Real Madrid for 117 million. That means he's definitely won loads of the leaguers. He's definitely won a Champions League or two. Probably got maybe a Euros or a World Cup, depending on how England performed. I don't know, man, but yeah, man, he looks like an absolute player. If you guys care about the attribute analysis, this is it. This is how his um graph looks, whatever it is. Is it a graph? I don't know, bro. We're going to call it a graph anyway. And yeah, man, let's see how many injuries he's picked up as of recent. Um, He only had two before, so he's got a couple more, but nothing too crazy. Three weeks out. Two days, five days, three days, six, four, 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 two, seven, three. Six weeks is his longest time out, which is not bad, man, honestly. That means he's probably not injury prone like that, man. He's just little knocks in training, bruised calves, pulled a groin, um, tight hammy, stuff like that, man. So, I said blisters. I didn't even know that was one, bro. I got, I got blisters in it. Let's actually have a dive into his career. And as you can see from his career attributes, once he moved to Real Madrid, he moved for 117 million, meaning... The minimum you're paying to get this guy, even if he flops, probably like 80 million, 100 million. I'll be expecting to be 100 million minimum. 100 million minimum. In his first season, two goals, two assists. Second season, four goals. I mean, four goals, five assists. Third season, eight goals, seven assists. Fourth season, seven goals, eight assists. Fifth season, seven and six. Four and two, four and four, seven and six, eight and two. 8 and 6, and then 11 and 6 with 6 man of the matches in his most recent season at the age of 33 years old. I mean, he's just, he's literally getting better with time, man. This is, I understand why they gave him the status as a legendary midfielder, man. But let's have a look at what he's done at Real Madrid, man. Let's pre Real Madrid right now. And as we can see, Jesus Christ. The guy came in, I think, was it 26, 27 season? Came in 26, 27. Yeah, bro. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The guys won ten La Ligas on the bounce at Real Madrid. Real Madrid have actually been dominating the Spanish league, bro. This is 14 years of them just winning in a row. Barcelona are runners up almost every single time apart from once. So yeah, Barcelona are definitely in the mud, man. But we're going to have a look at the Champions League as well. He picked up the Champions League once, the season after he signed. The season he signed, they were runners-up. And that's been it, man. That's literally been it. We've seen Chelsea pick up a couple. Even Man City picking up some Champions Leagues. Flipping heck, bro. Arsenal in the finals as well. They're doing well, but yeah. Not too shabby, man. One Champions League, like 10 La Ligas. And let's see if he's won anything with England as... Now, let's see if he's won anything with England as well. And straight away, we can see the Euro Football Championship, which I'm very sure is the Euros, yes. So, um, Spain won it. Then they won... Spain won it again. Then England won it very recently. So, not too bad. He's picked up a Euros. He's picked up a Champions League, a league and 10... La Ligas, man. The guy's a serial winner, man. Get this guy in your team right now. Trust me. If you've got 100 million to spare, bro, this is your guy, bro. He is going to take your midfield to a whole different level. It's just that it's going to cost you a lot of money, man. But yeah, people, that has been the video today. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what other players you want to see's career simulation, man. Big up yourselves, people. Let's get it.